loneliness. It's one of the biggest things that can stop us from living our lives. Sometimes we become so desperate to fix it that we end up surrounding ourselves with the wrong people, which ends up making us feel more alone. In fact, you could be surrounded by all the people in the world and still feel lonely in their company, if that makes sense. It's like some moments I can feel super happy, super comfortable, I'm having a good time, then all of a sudden I get hit with this feeling of, I feel unfulfilled. And then before you know it, I try to better myself. And as soon as I start bettering myself, I feel lonely again. Sometimes I wish I was around people who understood me, who had similar goals as me. See, a lot of us are stuck in this in-between where we want to leave our old environment, but we haven't earned the right to be around those high-level people, right? Our new environment. I realized I needed to earn it. So I took step number one and I started working on myself. I started working out. I started going to school. I started making some money. I started leveling myself up. And during the process, I remember I met a girl. And the funny thing is, the more that I spent time with this girl, the more I realized a lot of my habits were kind of rubbing off on her, right? She never touched a weight in her life, and then all of a sudden she started working out. She went from never working out in her life to becoming a full-blown gym rat, and she's still with me to this day. I started realizing that energy is very contagious, so I needed to take step number two, which was do everything in my power to surround myself with high-level people. It was around that time where I found this online mentorship program. And that's when I realized that you don't have to be near people to be around people who are high level, right? You can find them on the internet. So I ended up joining a mentorship program. And with that confidence of building my business, it gave me the courage to move to Texas. Got the U-Haul attached, it's all filled up. Where I'm surrounded by a lot more content creators. I remember the environment being so inspirational that I had to show my brother. I remember during that time he was working at a prison, he was going through a breakup and he was just struggling mentally. Yo! That was not a good time, man. Look, bro, I know you're in pain, but you have to trust me on this. The environment here is insane. Quit your job, pack your stuff, and get over here as soon as possible. It hurts so much. I know you're going through a lot right now, and I know it hurts, but I need you to push through. So, what do you say? Wanna move to Texas? <sighs> With no hesitation, he grabbed his stuff and then moved over here. Just being around this energy, he started working out, he started eating better, he started following his content creation dreams and teaming up with me to spread the level up message to the world. In fact, he's probably editing this video right now. So now I had this girl who was helping me achieve my goals. My brother came over here and I saw a massive transformation. So now we're, we're, we're all just working together to achieve this dream. And that's when I started realizing Maybe the people, maybe those high level people are already around me. This is my best friend, Jen. We played volleyball back in high school and we were very good until we graduated. Then he decided to go into the military and I decided to pursue my business and we would only keep in touch through video games. That was our way of like keeping in touch. At one point, video games just wasn't aligning with my goals, right? So I had to end it. I had to just stop playing video games because it was very unhealthy for me. It was taking a lot of time away from a lot of the stuff I was doing. That's when I was a little bit hesitant. I was a little bit scared because I was like, what if the only thing keeping our friendship together is video games? And if we stop doing that, then our friendship's just completely over. I remember we were playing our last game and I told him the whole situation and he was like, I get it, I understand. Well, when you come back, I'll be here. And I was like, all right. Then we started checking up on each other a lot more frequently and it had nothing to do with video games. Yeah, sometimes we bring it up, whatever, but we were playing video games. Now we would just check on each other because we genuinely cared about each other. And that's when I realized I should probably make an effort to keep this friendship. So that's when I decided to go surprise him in Denver. Okay guys, so I'm by his house right now. He's got his headphones on. Oh, man, I'm nervous. <laughs> nice. Loneliness is part of life, right? It's part of the journey. And whenever you want a little bit more out of your life, you're gonna go through this period of time where you have to travel on this journey to find your new environment. And some people are gonna come with you. You're gonna meet people along the way. 
and you also have to do everything in your power to surround yourself with that new energy. I know a lot of people think that they don't have that around them, but we have the internet now, right? There's social media, there's a lot of people you can meet online. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it. That's all. Have the best day of your entire lives, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.